Right, this is uh, probability theory one, and this is on counting methods, such as combinations, permutations, that kind of stuff. So, first off, a definition. This is what you use uh, for finding the number of ways things can be laid out. So, say you have three objects, you want to find in how many different ways can they be rearranged. So, you'd have three factorial over. Now, each of the objects can only be rotated once. So, one, one, one factorial. See, this, this is all the first object. So, one factorial of that. Second object, one factorial of that. Uh, I do have an example where that's not one. So, this is your first example. Got five books uh, on a shelf. How many ways can they be arranged? Five books, so five factorial divided by one factorial, one factorial. So, five factorial, which is 120. Uh, another example. Right, we have five books on a shelf, just like before, but three are cookery and two are maths. Now, keeping the same books together, uh, how many different ways can the shelf be rearranged? So, as before, we have five factorial, so, uh, so that is our number on the top. Yeah? But what, what we have now is we have the cookery can be ar arranged in a certain way, so that's three factorial, and the, the maths can be arranged in another way, which is two factorial. So we have five factorial over three factorial times two factorial. But what you may also notice is that they can, you can have uh, the cookery and then the maths, but you can also have the maths and the cookery. So what we want to do is we want to multiply it by two because there's two different ways they can be set out. Yeah? So five factorial over three factorial times two factorial times 2, now this happens to be 10, so 10 times 2 is 20, so you have 20 different ways that the shelf can be rearranged. Right, another definition, this is for picking, picking a number of items R from a total number of items N. So, this is the formula for this, it's N factorial over N minus R factorial. Uh, we should have an example, uh, here we go. Oh. Just ignore these numbers for the moment. Uh, eight marbles in a bag, and we have five red and three white. Uh, you pick two of them. Now, what is the probability that they are both red? So, we have eight, and we want to pick two of them. So, uh, 56 already. That is our total number of possible different balls we could pick. Um, then, we have red. So, the probability that they are red is there's five red and you want to pick two of them. So the probability of that happening is 20. Yeah, five factorial over three factorial, because you've got the n minus r. Yeah. Now, just like in normal probability lectures, we have the number of ways it can happen divided by the total possible number of ways. So we have 20 divided by 56 as our final answer. Yeah. Right, and this is the last one, combinations. So if you want to find a combination of R numbers from a total of N numbers, then we use this. Now this is just the same as the picking one, except we've multiplied the bottom by R factorial. So we have N factorial over R factorial times N minus R factorial. Uh, we've got an example. We'll just ignore this for a minute. Um, what is the odds, what are the odds, of winning the jackpot on the lottery. Now, if you don't know the lottery, um, there's 49 numbers, and you've got to pick six of them. And if you get all six right, as they, because six balls come out, then you win the jackpot. So, the answer is one divided by. Uh, these numbers are a bit off, but you know, if you get the general idea, uh, 49 balls, but choose six. So. Uh, we do want to divide by because this gives us the total numbers of ways. So uh, choose f uh, 6 out of 49. It's 49 factorial divided by 6 factorial times 49 minus 6 factorial, which is this very big number. What's that? 13,983,816. But this is the total number of ways, so we want 1 over it to be our probability. 1 divided by all of this, and that is your final answer. Thank you.